you know, I kind of feel like a little selfish. I'm talking about my dreams and everything I want to accomplish in my life. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, what about your dreams? So what are your dreams? If you want to share them, it's up to you. If not, you can tell me to go F myself. <laughs> it's like, but, you know, so when AMC has the squeeze, GameStop has the squeeze, you know, what are your dreams? Like, seriously, what do you, what do you want to do? Do you just want to, uh, you know, pay off your house, live conservative, take care of your family? Do you have something very specific that you want to do? Like me, how I want to travel the country and just eat at all the best restaurants. And basically that's my heaven. Maybe play a little music here and there. Different like bars. It doesn't have to be Madison Square Garden. Like if I was at like, uh, you know, I played a gig in Philadelphia not too long ago. It was a Jolly's Bar. Okay. And um, I think it was one of the greatest nights of my life. I did it to raise money. I think this was a long time ago to help my wife out just with like, you know, being on a very special diet. She has breast cancer. God bless her. And um, I did great. You know, everyone loved me. I was singing everything. Billy Joel, Elton John, Neil Diamond. Forget about it. You name it, I did it. And to me, that's just so much fun. You know, love on the rocks. Just, you know, ain't no surprise. Just pour me a drink and I tell you some lies. Got nothing to lose, so I just sing the blues all the time. Just try to put on my Neil Diamond voice, you know. Gave you my heart, gave you my soul. You left me alone here with nothing to hope. Yesterday's gone, all I want is a smile. I mean, just that's it. It makes me happy. Just doing something like that, eating, singing. What about you? What are your dreams? What makes you happy after the GameStop Boaz? After the AMC Boaz? What do you see yourself doing? Share, share, share this with the Ape Father. You know, I want to know. I really do. Because you know why? When we think about our dreams, it gives us power. Do you understand? You, you, Gabi, excuse me. It gives us the motivation. You remember like Mick? It, I think it was in Rocky Five when they showed that little part. He's a motivation called the mot the motivation. He said something like funny, like he didn't pronounce it right, but it's just the way he said it was so cool. Everything about Mick is cool. I like that part where he goes, he gave him a Rocky Marciano's cufflink. And Rocky Babo said, what happened to the other cufflink? He goes, he gave it to some bum. <laughs> just, I love Mick. Oh, man, he's just great. Get up, you son of a bitch. Because Mickey loves you. Um, yeah, so just let me know, what are your dreams? Because you know why? You should think about those dreams each and every day. And just say to yourself, if I hold, I'm getting this closer every day. We get closer to my dreams becoming a reality. And if I sell, well, those dreams are gone, right? Would you agree? They're gone forever. Look, I don't give financial advice. I'm not a financial planner. I'm an entertainer. I don't have a crystal ball. I can't make any guarantees, but I can tell you if you quit, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, the, the game over. That's it. You know what I mean? Like Jigsaw. Remember Jigsaw when he slammed the door? Game over. And he slammed the door. No! <laughs> That's it. You quit. Game is over. So don't quit. But again, I can't tell you what to do because I'm an entertainer. But um, I shared my dreams with you. Maybe you want to be so kind to share your dreams with me.